uh, night started with short form improv, and the name of the short form group is Baster. I hardly knew her. Volunteers. I know I'm getting you right into the hot water right away. Let's go over here. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, who's breaking up the step on stage? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Come on up. Come on up. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica. We'll stand right here on the edge of the stage. Give it up for Jessica. Situation, uh, maybe let's let's say it's let's say it's it's a it's a stressful situation for three people to be in. What's a stressful? Miss garbage day. Oh, they oh. miss garbage day. They miss garbage day. Uh, all I need to get them started is a round of applause, and here we go. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, guys. We have bad news. Okay, I just saw the truck drive by. But I have a, a full bag of garbage right here, Dad. Oh no. And the other can is already overflowing. Oh man. Oh, yeah. Baby diapers in here. Oh, oh no, no. it's so terrible. Oh. Man, you know, I usually go to the garbage man and I say, hey man, you better back off my computer. Computer. And then he turns around and he comes back. Well, I forgot. I didn't say that to him. I just waved at him and I kept saying, get my dead bunny out of my trash can. Get my dead bunny out of my trash can. Yes, of course. Oh, man. I gotta do the kickbacks. Man, so. well, oh. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to rearrange my whole day. If we didn't get the trash, I can't go to work. I can't eat breakfast at Uncle Tony's. Uncle Tony's. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves Uncle Tony's. Breakfast pizza. Yeah, no. Who doesn't like a good breakfast pizza? Uh, and what am I gonna do with this huge pile of shit? Shit. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm... Between the diapers and the shit, shit. the house smells terrible. <laughs> You should really think about hiring that service, that maid service called. Give it to the garbage men. Give it to the garbage men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They just yeah. take everything and they give it to them so that we don't forget. Yeah. Yeah. Just very forgetful people. Yeah. See their signs all the you time. You know, in this county, the county of. Cheshire Shire. Cheshire Shire. <laughs> <laughs> the garbage only gets picked up every other week and twice on Thursday. That's why I think we should move to the other county with a similar, very different sounding name. Cheshire Shire. Cheshire Shire. you know, we could move there too, but I've also been looking into a similar county with a slightly different name called... Yes, Shire. Yes, Shire. Yeah, uh, our grandma, they, they eat turtle soup. Yeah, our grandma, they eat turtle soup. 
So they're allowed. So they're allowed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a long name. Yeah. <laughs> take you to a Thanksgiving dinner filled with the people that you don't want to see at your Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, and we're just very simple like this. Uh, let's just go over here. Like this. Hi, sir. How are you? Yeah, how are you? Uh, is there anyone that uh, you would love to avoid at, at your family Thanksgiving dinner? Um, yes. Um, the cousins who blew up a donkey pinata. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do, and they, um, they also, I don't know, they also, um, I don't know, they, they, they play games. <laughs> they play video games. They so they're younger? They shoot cans in the backyard. Perfect. So they're hula. They're, sure. Perfect. Great. 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 Jeremy, you're going to embody cousins that are hurt that shoot cans in the backyard and, and blow up. Uh, donkey pinata. <laughs> uh, try to try to hit him that character if you can. That person. Uh, let's go. Let's go here in the middle. Let's go here in the middle. Uh, hi. Uh, oh hey. Okay. I don't know you. <laughs> We're strangers. Um, what? <laughs> oh, no, what? Uh, I can't. I can't give. I can't. Uh, cause this is John White. Yeah. So I don't want to give. <laughs> How are you? Uh, uh, who is someone uh, maybe that you're looking forward to meeting or seeing at uh, Thanksgiving? Maybe not, maybe it's not someone you don't like, but maybe somebody you'd love to hang out with. Your father. Your father, great. What's your father's name? Steve. Steve, what's, what's uh, Steve's job? What's he all about? Steve is retired. He's a grandfather. He's a grandfather. That's what he's all about. Like, yeah, what did you do uh, when he was uh, you know, working? He maintained uh, COVID aircraft. Perfect, great. John, yeah, uh, you're a grandfather <laughs> who, made, who, who used to maintain corporate aircraft. Uh, your early job now is you're retired. <laughs> you're going to head that. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, hi, how are you? <laughs> hi, Cameron. Uh, is there anybody that you absolutely are dreading to see at a Thanksgiving dinner? Uh, yeah, my grandma. Your grandma? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, she might. <laughs> You don't want to see her? Is she kind of like rude or is she? Oh, perfect. She's a fighting grandma. Great. Uh, what's, what's her name? Is the... Sue. Sue. Perfect. That's right. Uh, so, John, you're going to be Sue, the fighting grandma. <laughs> and, and then finally, finally, uh, I guess I'll, I'll play too. I'll, I'll, I'll go along with it. Uh, hi, sir. How are you? Is there anyone that you really like to uh, get to see at your Thanksgiving? Yeah. Like a dog. You like a dog? What's the dog's name? Uh, Buster. Buster. What's 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 Buster's like? What's his M? Uh, his M O. What's his like? What's uh, what's he best known for? He's a hunting dog. He's a hunting dog. Yeah. Great. Is he a big dog, little dog? Bloodhound. Perfect. Great. All right. <laughs> what's the other dog? I got. I got. Let's 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 review real quick. Review. Real okay. Quick. Uh, hooligan cousin. Yeah. Grandfather. <laughs> Mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> Sue the fighting grandma. And, and I will be uh, a bloodhound uh, dog named Buster. Uh, so right now we're going to take you to that uh, family dinner and uh, one by one everyone's going to stand up and say what they're thankful for. Let's give us a round of applause and here we go. Yeah! <laughs>
Oh, I always get so backed up at Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be amazing after the meal. Give it like an hour. You all are gonna be shit in your brain now. This is gonna be crazy. Um, but look, y'all, before that happens, I did want to get something off my chest. I, uh, you know, after last Thanksgiving and that pinata mishap, you know, you know that was embarrassing. I mean, you came in swinging, Grandma. I didn't, you know. Well, I did not appreciate Tootsie Rolls all over my prize roses. Yeah. <laughs> but your eye, your eye looks almost back to normal, and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that Grandma's eye is completely healed, and she can see all of us with both her beautiful eyes. Let's talk about some of the things I can see. <laughs> now, Stephen, I know you said the grace tonight, and that's probably because you were doing your little pot stuff, and you were feeling pretty excited, but let me tell you, Jesus doesn't hear the prayers of potheads. Okay, all right? And yeah, I didn't have the mashed potatoes because I could tell there were laxatives in them. Mashed potatoes don't taste like chocolate, Stephen. <laughs> okay, all right? One more thing I appreciate. I appreciate in this room that I don't have to tell the race of everybody in a story I'm about to tell. <laughs> because you all know what I mean when I say it. Okay? Okay, okay you all have brought me such misery this year. Oh my God. Such guilt. Oh my God. I Mom, love you so much wine. and I'm so thankful you're all here. Yes, I'll have another glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Every year, I'm glad you're coming. Thank you. Um, I guess I'll just say uh, I'm glad I'm here. Uh, of course, you know, uh, a few years ago we had a thing one of the flights we were on, one of the, uh, the pilots, he fell ill. He, uh, we had food poisoning. We had a bad chicken salad or something. And, Grandpa, uh, this is like the third time you told me. Shut the up. fuck up. All right. <laughs> there I was. And I landed that plane. So, <laughs> I'm just thankful to be here. Well, I'm thankful you're here too, sweetheart. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> I think the dog's got a few words. Thanksgiving. Stuffing. Stuffing. I heard stuffing is one of the things I heard. And then what is? Uh, and let's let's try to be more creative tonight with a body part. What's what's a what's a body part other than like you know a typical thing that we all can see here? Your left ear. What's that? Your left ear. Your left ear. So we're gonna do a little game called uh, word swap, and we're gonna take those two words. We're gonna take stuffing and a left ear and swap them and see if we can get any kind of comedy out of that. All we need to get started is a round of applause, and here we go. Yeah. This definitely tastes like stovetop, your left ear. <laughs> I like the left ear that's cooked in the bird. <laughs> Carol, your sister's left ear is dry as fuck. <laughs> Last year you had sausage in your left ear? I love that. <laughs> If you pierce your stuffing, it means you're gay. 
Stuffing's tingling, someone's talking about you. <laughs> we ain't got a ride home. We were stuffing. Something, uh, what's a topic you hope does not come up? Somebody's pregnant. Genitals! <laughs> Genitals. <laughs> Perfect. Genitals and spleen. Oh, Genitals and spleen. Uh, here we go. Genitals and spleen. <laughs> Yeah, the alcohol's ruined my liver, but it hasn't done a thing to my genitals. <laughs> I had a pretty bad, a pretty bad accident, and I ruptured my genitals. <laughs> Nobody knows what the genitals does. Uh. <laughs> no, no, I can't eat rare beef. I've had my genitals removed. <laughs> you're, you're old enough where you should know what to do with your spleen. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Mike Tyson taking multiple shots in the genitals again and again and again. <laughs> Billy, get your spleen out of your hands. We're in church. <laughs> I hate that these Barbie dolls don't have spleens. <laughs> they, they took my spleen and now I'm a eunuch. <laughs> he's so cute, but he's got such a hairy spleen. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, great. One more, one more, one more. Let's do this. Christmas is coming up. Christmas is coming up. What's the first thing uh, you think of when I say Christmas? Yeah. Prison. Yeah. Prison? Yeah. I like mistletoe. Mistletoe is on brand. Uh, <laughs> what's the first thing you think of when I say New Year's Eve, the other holiday? Jail. Jail. Jail and mistletoe. Jail and mistletoe. Look, baby, I'm under the jail. <laughs> I just knew I had to kiss you when I saw you here, mistletoe. <laughs> Damn, why I put my dick in mistletoe? <laughs> We're dancing to the mistletoe rock. <laughs> baby, baby, you gotta forget about me. I'm gonna be under this mistletoe for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in the mistletoe stays in the mistletoe. <laughs> so yeah, he's my very best mistletoe friend. We spent eight years together being mistletoe lovers. And then when I got out, I just felt like maybe I wanted to get back into mistletoe just to see him again. <laughs> I feel like jail's kind of problematic. <laughs> She looks a little young. Isn't that a little bit of mistletoe bait? <laughs>
or come talk to any of us after the show, we'll point you in Adrian's direction. Yes. <laughs> All right.